Welcome back. I've had a lot of people ask, and some of you guys have been watching the uh, virtual class videos where I'm facing the opposite direction like we do in the dojo and you stand behind me and learn. Uh, they've been asking for sushi no cone this way, so I thought I'd give it a go and see how you guys do with this. Uh, one of the things that I want to tell you guys, I know that I don't like to teach via video and everything, but I believe video is a great resource. We need to be in the dojo and training and I understand that, but give me some feedback. You know, if you've got a question, then hit me up. It's that way when we start classes next week, we can get back in here and I got an idea of what you're working on, what you're struggling with. But Sushi no Kone was the big one that everybody was asking about, so we're going to go ahead and cover that one facing that direction just like we do in the dojo. Once again, if you're training with a bow, please make sure you got plenty of room at home, plenty of room so you're not going to take out a lamp, hit your wall, hit a kid, hit your dog, hit your cat. I've seen all those things on video lately with people training at home. And, and although they may think it's funny, I, I really don't. I want you guys to be careful because this is a weapon and it can cause serious damage. That being said, this is Sushi no Kone. Hey, right. Joy, we're going to step our left leg back and strike, set the cat stance and hook. Sweep across the front leg, good deep shiko, pop back, strike behind you, pop back up, poke to the front. Step your left leg out, right arm down. Switch around, keeping the right arm down. Strike and hook in a cat stance. Shift away, block low. Step back in and poke. Step forward, 45 on the feet, strike. Bring your toes together and hook. Feet forward and poke, poke, left arm out. Step in, right strike, hook. Feet forward, left arm. Step forward, strike, and hook. We're gonna step our left leg out into a shiko, strike across our body, bring our left back up. We're still looking this direction here. Step across. Step out to Shiko, look and strike Kiai. Bring your heels together, back to the front, and Yame. And that is Sushi no Kone. Uh, just work on it. If you can get Sushi no Kone down, the basic foundation of your bow skills are there. And then we'll get into doing the Sakagawa exchanges and everything. I did post a bow handling video a few weeks ago. Hopefully you guys are working on that. Uh, one of the things I want to tell everybody, I've been doing karate for 42 years. I've been training nonstop for 42 years. I've studied all kinds of martial arts. I still work the very basic foundations of our karate, of our weapons. I don't ignore bow handling skills. I don't ignore just standing there executing a reverse punch or working on a front kick or working my foundational stances. The basics of what we do are what makes karate powerful and effective and work ability. It just makes it tough. So if you want to be really good at something, you need to train your foundation. Uh, if you don't train your foundation, you know, it's like building a house on sand. It'll crumble once the first storm comes in. An attack, a self-defense situation, it's like a storm. You want to be built on concrete so that you can boom and go home safe to your family all philosophy of what we do. Franz karate, self-defense. That's the core of what we do. It's not about showy karate. It's not about flipping your weapon around like a baton. It's about being good with what we do, being effective with what we do when we need it. And if you train your karate and you give it the discipline, you give it the effort that you need, your karate will always be there for you. This was Sushi no Kone. We're going to run it again, dojo count, so just kind of follow along. Sushi no Kone, dojo count. Right? Yoi. Ha. Hi. Ha. 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 And that's Sushi no Kone. Keep working on it, drill it at home, have some fun with it. I love the bow, great weapon. Everybody's beginning weapon in Kobudo. 
the only way to get good at it is just to practice with it. And once again, for those students that don't have your own bow, you can use a broomstick handle. Just unscrew it right out of the broom and use it. Or leave the broom on. <laughs> it just looks funny, but you can do it. Uh, like I was talking with one of the students the other day. Growing up, I didn't have a lot of weapons when we trained weapons. So I would always have to borrow people's. But when I needed to practice at home, take the mop handle off and use the mop. It's as simple as I could do. Go back in the woods and find myself a long stick or a long tree. Just something to work with. Uh, it doesn't always have to be great looking like a regular weapon, but you can do it with a tree branch or a broom handle. Don't be afraid to do so. Training is more important than what other people say or care about because it's about improving you and improving your life. To do that, a lot of times you have to ignore the naysayers and the negative people out there and just feel good about who you are inside, knowing you did your best. We'll talk to you guys soon.